We have a special uh, story to share with you about the importance of Feedmore right here in our community. Yeah, it is. In Salamanca, New York, one's trash. Canned vegetables, canned fruit. Is another supper. Chicken and pork chops and no steak, though. <laughs> For Chuck Jambroni and almost 10,000 others. The girls, they cook a good meal. It's their lifeline. I was starved to death. I didn't come here. In the aftermath of the top shooting, the headlines were clear. More recently, politicians like Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown calling for funding to keep downtown's only grocery store afloat. But down south in rural counties like Cattaraugus and Chautauqua, the food desert issue is often overlooked. There are some communities that don't even have gas stations or grocery stores. They do need silverware. Corey Fetty Place is a director at Connecting Communities in Action. And with the help of Feed More Western New York as a distributor. Oh, you're welcome. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Served over 2,000 households this year. They couldn't live without it. It's, it's vital um, for a lot of our families. For a significant number of residents in Salamanca, a trip to the nearest grocery store is as far as a trip from downtown Buffalo to Highmark Stadium, a roughly 10-mile journey deeming the city a food desert. Adding to that, the medium household income is just $36,000 $47, putting over a quarter of the population below the poverty line. Am I going to buy Christmas presents for my kids or do I have to, you know, put my resources into buying food? Eliminating that scenario for families in the southern tier is a part of a greater mission by Feedmore to expand its outreach outside of urban areas. As last year, 80% of the population it served was in Erie County. Areas like Salamanca, areas like Olean, um, aren't always remembered or thought of in that way. We really want to make sure, too, that it's understood that Feedmore Western New York is there to service all of Western New York. A service that doesn't go unnoticed. I think everybody should have a, a home and a safe place to go to eat and be happy. Providing those like Chuck peace of mind this holiday season, knowing their lifeline will always be there. On your side in Salamanca, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.